Okay, this is my video about the 10 best reasons for getting out and going hiking in the winter. All right, reason number one, it's after sundown and there's still plenty of light for doing video. <laughs> All this snow reflects, <laughs> but there's still plenty of light. Reason number two, is you can see the tracks wherever they go, wherever they are. Um, and if it's snowed recently, you can tell if they're fresh or not. For example, these tracks are not fresh because they're full of snow and blow. These tracks are fresh because they're full of broken up snow. Reason number three is the boys get a lot friskier in those snow. Where'd they go? There they go. They don't get hot. They don't get fatigued. They can drink from the snow. They like winter. There goes Caesar with his hiking stick. Caesar's a hiking stick fanatic. Give me that stick. <laughs> Reason number four is because there's no leaves on the trees, you can see a long ways and see things up in the trees. So if there are owls or hawks or things like that, you can see them quite easily. Is there anything in the trees? I guess you can also see that there's not anything in the trees or in the woods. Now, like I said, we're here at, at uh, sundown, which is when the deer usually come out. So we'll see if there's any deer in this field over here. Caesar's alerting to something, so there might be. These tracks are of a wild animal because they're in a fairly straight line and they're going somewhere. Oh, there it is. <laughs> He's never gone in a straight line in his life. I wonder why we don't see wildlife. These are the tracks of the cross-country skier. <laughs> it's a wild animal that lives in these parts in the winter. It's migratory, I think. These are the archery range butts. They're made out of wood, it's not hay. It's excelsior, which is wood shavings, I guess. What do you got? What do you got? That's a little big. <laughs> Get that stick. Where are you gonna go with that? Another good reason to hike around in the, sun, in the winter, in the snow, is even though you get crashing through places and work to climb hills and over things and work hard, you don't really get too hot. Um, it's about 30 degrees out again and uh, we're crashing through the brush as usual and it's really nice. We were following some very fresh deer tracks trying to get some deer pictures. I don't think we're going to get them though. There's two miserable monsters way up ahead. <clears throat> Another good reason is these muddy creeks and streams are all frozen over. 
or at least aren't flowing very much. So like normally this is a swamp that we're kind of tracking through and it's uh, it's all snow and ice. It's the best place to find deer, turkeys, foxes, coyotes hunkered down in the thick brush of the swamp. But um, we, uh, we went through it and didn't get any wet, which I expected maybe we would, but Caesar and Dakota don't care. They could care less about wet. It's also, another reason is that the people you meet hiking out here in the winter are usually extremely nice, friendly people. Very few people come out in the winter and drink and be obnoxious. People are generally very friendly and very nice, and they're just trying to stay warm like you are. To climb over logs and stuff as we walk around here. This is target number 26 for the archery range. This is a field archery range that um, you walk through the fields just like you were hunting, although nobody in their right mind these days hunts by moving around. Well, the target is probably gone. This archery range is out of use, has been for at least 10 years, um, since before I got Dakota, I guess. Of course, the most obvious reason for hiking around in the winter is that there are no bugs. Although in the spring, um, or the winter, late winter, early spring, um, there are bugs. You can often find bugs as soon as it gets above freezing. But uh, for the most part, from uh, late November to March, there are no bugs. Now the one bug there is that we take precautions out over is um, ticks. There are still ticks year-round for some reason. They must have antifreeze in their bloodstream. The other great thing is you can hike on a cloudy, ugly, miserable day like today. And if the precipitation starts, who cares? It's snow, it's not rain. You're not gonna get soaked and wet and freeze to death. You're just gonna freeze to death because it's winter hiking. Caesar's on the hunt here. He's got some kind of creature. <laughs> He's never gotten anything, but he sure does hunt well. Once he did that in the woods in deep snow, we were snowshoeing and there was a grouse buried in the snow and it came blasting out of the snow, flying away, flapping its wings and making this screechy noise like a grouse. And it scared him to death. He wouldn't leave my side for about 10 minutes. <laughs> I think he thought he had sniffed a landmine. <laughs> Another nice thing about winter is that if you want to go fishing on the ice, of course, is that um, you can get to the best spots pretty easy. Uh, you just walk to them, drill a hole, and you're over the best spots, if you know where they are, of course. You don't need a boat. You don't need permission on the landowner who owns the property or the lakeshore. You can just uh, go fishing. And of course, one of the things I'm sure you've noticed is that if you go winter hiking with dogs instead of children, although you could say they're my fur children, uh, you don't have to get them all dressed up in snowsuits, all bundled up with mittens, gloves, hats, scarves, and then have them tell you they have to pee. <laughs> These guys are always dressed ready to go. 
and they pee as soon as they get out of the car. It's pretty, it's quiet. I guess that's another reason, because it's so quiet. You can hear this time of the year, it's uh, February. You can hear the owls hooting for quite a distance because the leaves don't absorb it.